All right, it is October 23rd, and it's happy Yieldmax ETF Dividend Announcement Day for the, I don't know, what is it, the Group C or something tier uh, ETFs in the Yieldmax family of funds. Uh, oh, here's the uh, distribution schedule. So what you can do, go to yieldmaxetfs.com, click here to see when they're going to announce their uh, monthly distributions or weekly, I guess. Some are weekly, maybe. but. Uh, most are on a monthly schedule now, grouped accordingly. Uh, let's see, 2024, here we go. Uh, let's see, today, the most important day, because I own a lot of MISTY, MSTY, which is uh, options on top of the MicroStrategy, does not actually hold MicroStrategy. You can actually play MicroStrategy if you want as well and play the stock up and down. You can do that too. You can do that with uh, MISTY. Uh, as I made in my last video, it's been up. Usually, it's currently up at thirty ninety two. Uh, pretty good. One of one of their best performers. And I was just going, okay. They kicked the can down the road for um, uh, maybe two and a half extra weeks after they made the new distribution schedule for twenty twenty four. I'm like, oh crap. Fiat came in last week a little bit lower than usual, and. Uh, I was concerned that Misty wasn't going to do it, and I, my dilemma was, well, wait, I'm up, I'm up big on the net asset value on Misty. Do I, do I dump it and take the uh, stock appreciation? And I do it in my Roth, so I'm not worried about the tax stuff. So that would be a nice dividend. I mean, that'd be a nice payout in profits on basically on the stock. And then the hope is, like today, I proved it. I just got the news announcement on what they're paying for Misty for October. And guys, hold on, it's good. So what you can do, they announce it today, and usually at 7 a.m., uh, I think it's mostly 7 a.m. I don't know what time, it doesn't say, it says Eastern time, but it wasn't on the news until maybe later, unless I wasn't refreshing. But anyway, so let's just say about 11 a.m. Eastern, Eastern time, I did refresh the news page on Yomax, and I saw it. So 10.23 today is the declaration, which is, Good, and that was my decision point. What's the dividend? Will the dividend be more than me uh, if I sold it and took the profit based on the net asset value, the stock price of Misty? So then tomorrow, if you hold it on the X date, which is tomorrow, if you still hold it, you'll get the dividend, and that's paid out on uh, Friday the 25th. So how do you do this? Go to Max ETFs, boom. Go to the top. This is what I do. This is, I don't know. Most people don't know this. They didn't put it on their Twitter page yet. So new, uh, yeah, Twitter. Go to news, click on news, and wait. Click on news again. Oh, it's spinning. It's slow. It is slow. All right. And you'll see Blammo right here, guys. Let me get that little icon out of the way. Ah! 1023 is today. Distribution announcement. Uh, so it announces distributions on Misty and all the rest. Who cares, right? Let's go read the press. All right, dun dun dun. Always exciting. And right off the bat, let's scroll down. Misty comes in at 175.64%. What does that mean? What exactly does that mean? Show me the numbers. And uh, right here, Big Daddies. This is huge. This is pretty good. This is like when they first came out, they were paying four bucks per share on a dividend when they first uh, came out a few months ago. We'll look at that in a minute. So look at that, $4.19, 20 cents per share. That pretty much is a one for one. I mean, it, it's the same as if I sold it, a little more than if I sold it uh, and took the net appreciation on the stock price, which is 30.92, it's hovering. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna hold it. Tomorrow we'll go down when they do the X date. So it might go down to 27, 28. But I don't know. The thing keeps, keeps doing well with MicroStrategy. So I think the game, the play right now is uh, I'm just going to hold it today. I'm not going to sell it. And I'm going to go for the dividend, baby, and put that dividend in cash in my account and uh, be like, oh, my God, this is awesome. I did not expect this. Now, there's one that caught my eye here. What is this SMCY? These are very high risk, obviously, but look at this. You could get five bucks per share every four weeks. I'm gonna look at this. I have no idea what it is, SMCY. 
SMCI. Anyway, let's go look at Misty real quick. Oh, where is it at? Dun, dun, dun. Go back here, RETFs. You just mouse over. There is Misty. And you can go down and look at the history. I never understood this. I mean, this always throws me. So I don't even look at that. I just, you just got to wait for the, the uh, distribution announcement date. And um, here we go. This is the distribution details thus far. When it first came out in March and then paid the dividend in April, it was at $4.12. Then it dropped to, you know, Bitcoin wasn't doing that great and MicroStrategy maybe not so great. I don't know. I guess. I'm guessing, right? And it's been dropping. I'm thinking, oh, geez. And then Fiat, like I said last week, came in about 145. I'm thinking, oh, no, Misty might be low. And that's why I was looking to see to see what the date, the distribution would be today, the announcement. And I was like, oh, God, it's going to be low. And let's just take the net appreciation and get out and wait till it drops and maybe buy back in. So we're back at, so we opened at four in um, April, $4.12. And then, and I forgot, went to public school, so my memory isn't that great. So we did 412 opening when this thing first became active. And all right. And we'll do it a little bit better almost. Let's see. Let's say 412 versus 420. Not bad after all this time. I'm taking it. This is incredible. What a good day. And uh, I'm just going to hold, take the dividend. What are you guys going to do? Have you been watching this? Uh, Misty for the win. Yeah, if you want to do a, uh, if you want Bitcoin, but you just don't want to hold it and hope it's going to go up and then not get anything while you're holding it. I always want to be paid. I always want to be paid for holding a stock, no matter if it's an ETF or, a, or an Exxon or something. I want a dividend of something, uh, whether it's 3% or a whopping, whatever this is. You know, <laughs> um, It's a good feeling. I held Tesla for a while. You don't get anything. You're just, you're in a mode of hopium. That it's going to go up and i hate that i just want that monthly dividend because you can treat it as income and even if the net asset value goes down like i am on fiat a little bit because they paid x and all that stuff and the market's up even that it goes down it's like real estate you're still getting that monthly income and then say you hold it over time and you're say you're down on the net asset value price over time a few months or whatever you're going to make up the difference and break even. And even if it stays down, you're going to keep coll collecting, hopefully, a decent dividend, and then it becomes profit, just like real estate. So that's a good mindset to approach. Instead of, oh my God, it's in the red, it's down, blah, 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 you're getting a nice dividend. So it, it takes away the, um, the sting of the uh, net price being down. And uh, these things go up and down. So you can play that too. You can play the price and just, I don't know. It just seems to be an interesting vehicle. Again, high risk. This is my journey. Uh, entertainment only, guys. I got to put that out there. This is not financial advice. I'm just a dude in a house, and I lose a lot, and I make a lot sometimes. So it's like, do your own thing, guys. Figure it out. But I'm just showing you how interesting this is just for entertainment and fun. Um, yeah, the, I don't even know if cash is safe now. I can't even tell you. Who knows with this wacky election day, wacky election week. Um, yeah, one side, see, one side of the aisle seems very desperate, and you just don't know what shenanigans or continued shenanigans they're going to keep pulling. Uh, makes you wonder and makes you nervous the way they weaponize the Department of Justice to go after people they don't believe with, uh, believe with or agree with, right? Anyway, that may affect the market too, which makes me a little bit nervous. So that's why I threw that little political spice in there. And uh, remember, vote early. Get out there and vote now. Do it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're not fighting, uh, you're not really, I'll just say this, the, you're not running against the other candidate, you're running against the regime and the election uh, steal. That's what the uh, one side's trying to beat. Yeah, it's kind of sad that we're in a banana republic right now, but that's what we have to do. Otherwise, we become Venezuela, and that's yet to be seen. We got to get through, got to get through it. So anyway, good news, Misty for the win. So that is very surprising that it was that high at $4.19. Let's say $4.20. Round up. Round up when you can round up. And I'm going to round up. 
and it will come in at 420. And I, you know, I just do the 4.1981 times how many shares, and then you are good to go. And yeah, looking good, folks. This can be income, but it's not, you know, it's, is your job really guaranteed? No, you are not a family in a company. You're not, we're family, we're a team, we're all, no, it's all bull crap. They're feeding you because when they cut you or they lose money on a contract, bye bye. And are they going to come and pay your mortgage? Because we're family and friends, go team, go, and you do all that crappy company culture, toxic stuff. No, you're gone. They don't care. They're, they're kind of moronic that way. And I think it's a bit of evil too. Um, yeah, it's just business. Uh, we're not really friends. Oh, why'd you lie? Well, it's so stupid. And that's a whole nother video. Company culture is so toxic. And uh, this is why I like these dividends. You don't have to go to the toxic work environment, working with boss girls, crazy people, and you don't have to do all that crap. You can take the money, suck it up you made from your, your toxic corporate job, invest it you could risk it but you get laid off too man you can go to the job every day and get like terminally ill dealing you know dealing with these toxic people or you can just invest it in some of these smart vehicles you live and learn you make mistakes and these yield max things seem to be interesting for me and uh, i prefer that especially if you're kind of introverted you don't want to go deal with people man just let the let the freaking market make money for you and uh that gives you a nice calming effect of course you could always lose everything but you could also get laid off that's all i got thank you I'm out.